we start passing down the blessings, the favors, and the faithfulness to the generations to come. Hello guys, this is Shundel and today's share is we can do that passing down the blessing, the favors and of course the faithfulness to their future generations. Yes, we can pass it down and how can we really do that? And again, I have to remind you that I am sharing this with you from my own reading and of course from my own life experiences and according to what I understand when I read the scripture. Passing it down, the blessing, the favors, and the faithfulness to the generations to come, guys. You must be an idol. Become the person you want to be. Become a model to them. Become an idol to them. What you are acting, what you are doing, it really affects to the family, to the friends that surrounds you, to your own generations. They are going to follow what you are doing. And I know again, this is not easy. I cannot even imagine my children following what I am doing. It's not easy guys, but I did my best to pass down those blessings what I have get from my parents down to my children. It's not too much maybe, but I am trying my best to give them a good Christian education. That's the only thing I can implant them to give them a good foundation in this life. So I sent them to a private school. I sent them to an Adventist school which I have been there to when I was a child because I want to pass down to them what the blessings I get from my parents. I cannot force them to believe what I am believing, no, but I am passing down to them the foundation of how to be a good person, how to not be influence of the drug addiction, the smoking, and any other temptations in their, you know, teenager years. You can pass down those blessings, the favors, the faithfulness to your future generation, but you have to experience it first. You have to experience and understand it first so it becomes easier for you to pass down to them because you understand that you have it, you understand that you experience it and you want them to experience what you have been experiencing in your life. So I went to a Christian school and I want them too to experience what is this Christian school. So I sent them to a private school, but it is their decision to make if they're going to go to church, if they're going to follow what the scripture says. I only give them the foundation, but he or he, my children, they are the one who is going to decide for themselves. And at the end, guys, at my age now, I feel satisfied that I was able to give them a good Christian foundation. So they are strong enough to face the obstacles, the challenges in life. Even I cannot force them to go to church. No, there's no forcing going to church. They have to decide it for themselves. But passing those blessings to them, guys, I feel satisfied and I feel that whatsoever will come to their life, they know how to stand on their own. They know how to, you know, handle things, to avoid the temptation because I give them a good Christian education. That was my blessing I get from my family, I get from my parents, and I am passing it down to them. It 
is up to them to follow the doctrines, to follow the scripture, what I am planting to their mind and hearts, that whatsoever will come to us in this life journey, God is with us all the time, and He is in control in everything we are going through in this life journey. So guys, this is my share with you today. We are all able to pass down the favors, the blessing, the faithfulness to our future generations. Today, I want to share with you what is written in 2 Kings 19.34. I will defend this city and save it for my sake and for the sake of David, my servant. This is about the Bible story of David. If you know the story of David, guys, you can understand what I am talking about. Because... It is important to understand that we must have an idol, a model we can follow to look after if we are going to pass our blessing to our future generations. Be like David. Start a blessing. You can pass down blessings, favor, generosity, and faithfulness for generations to come. You can choose that or you can choose to pass over the dysfunction, the bitterness to your future generation. It is a decision to make that we are going to start the blessing, passing it over to our family, start the fable, start the freedom. God is coming. God is counting on you to take your family to a new level because of your faithfulness. They're going to go farther, accomplish more, and become all the way created to be. You have to understand the possibilities that that seeds of obedience and of helping others we are sowing today. What we are sowing today can continue to bless our descendants for many generations. So try to understand the life story of David. David and his family leave a legacy that honors us and produces good fruit long after he was gone. Yes, we have to do the action and choose the right decision what we are going to choose to pass down to our future generation. As the scripture says, start passing down the blessings, the favor, the generosity, and faithfulness to your future generations to come. Guys, remember always that if we are going to live our best life, we want also our future descendants will live the same good life, our family and children, that they can also live the best life they can have. And where they are going to start, that's from us, parents. We have to appreciate our children. We have to love them. We have to pass down the blessings, the favors, and the faithfulness to them. We can teach them. We can be a good model to them. We can, you know, be an idol to them. But remember always, they are the one who is going to take the right decision for themselves. We can guide them. We can teach them faithfulness. We can teach them generosity to be kind to others. But bottom line here, it is their life. We have to respect them as well. The important is that we are giving them a good foundation to their life. It is their own decision to make how they can live their best life. 
my point here guys really the most important is we are going to try our best as parents to give the best we can to our children to our family the blessing the favors the generosity the faithfulness we can all teach them that but it is their life they're the one who is going to decide for their life we can guide them we can teach them but bottom line here they are going to make their own decisions so don't be discouraged if they're not going to follow you all we can do as what i am doing to my children i am giving them a good christian foundation in their life so it's up to them when they are become old and mature and they are struggling with life's obstacles challenges and problems they know how to handle it in a proper way in a good way when they have the right foundation in this life journey therefore even i am poor i am struggling financially i tried my best to send them to an adventist school to give them a good christian foundation that's the only gift i can give them when i am gone on this earth so it's their life they're going to run yeah to run their own race but i already have peace in my heart and mind that they can make it because i give them the good foundation yes i pass down the blessings the favors the faithfulness to my own children and i hope they can continue to pass it down to their future generation this is Yundel. thank you so much for listening thank you so much for following me here in my life journey i am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my channel i love you all and bye, -bye.